Dream Team. Here we are with the 1994 NBA Finals Game 2, second quarter. Before we can dive in, make sure you guys subscribe, ring the notification bell, give the video a thumbs up, and let's do this. On the floor a little bit more. Tonight, I think it's more a case of he wants to go out there face up to get a look at the jump shot or possibly drive by the defender. Second quarter underway. Knicks 10 of 19 from the field. In the first quarter, they lead by four. And it is Mason against Elijah Wan. Nice oh, pass. Nice. Cassell. Nice pass. <coughs> and nice cut, Sam. In the backcourt, Patrick Ewing, Anthony Mason, Charles Smith up front. Now at the Nick offensive end, Elijah Wan is guarding Ewing. Now Ewing double. facing a double team. Cut somebody, Starts please. No. Ewing, again off a The defense. Good yeah, help, Sam. Matt Fuller. Fuller, not given the uh, shot. By Charles Smith, they respect that outside touch. Y'all better bring the trout. The 6'7 Anthony Mason going up against Akeem Elijah. Too little. Good veto. Continues to have problems with Mason. And Mason did a good job of pushing him out and staying up on his right hand and just forcing Elijah to change that shot ever so slightly. There you go. Come on, Starks. Kick it to the wing. Anthony back. Did he swipe down? He might have swiped down. Mario Ellie. Like Kenny Smith. Greg Anthony doing a New York area product. Attended Power Memorial High School in Manhattan. Here comes Mario on the break. That's a flexion by Bowler to start this fast break, but Greg Anthony doing a good job of shading him off. I don't know what else you, you do to play defense. Crossover or spin dribble and a play taken right to the rim. Good defensive job by Anthony. Elijah Wan has missed his last five shots. The drop. Ah, what a, it was a good look. It got tipped. Who just checked in. The Knicks looking for some consistent shooting from Hubert Davis, who just replaced John Starks. Hubert from anybody. Six from the field the other night. Elijah Wan again forced out. Five of the shot clock. Elijah Wan. defense. And it's thrown away. Anthony Mason guessing right here as Elijah Wan with a little fake right go left. He's got an excellent foot fake there, but Anthony Mason just not going to go for it here as he's able to get in his path, force Elijah Wan until he loses footing. Double team Cut. On the Swing. Open there we go. There we go. Well Somebody's just got to be able to hit that. That's it. You can hit that, you win. Has done that in this series and throughout the playoffs and throughout the season. Slow down. Why are you going? Slow down. You have no advantage there. Mason, a very. Well, maybe I love defense. You know, it's a difference. You know, I study different ways to play people, and I just love defense. It's a different view. To be a good defender, I think you gotta love to play defense. Can't just get out there because you got that's it. facts. You do have to love it. Yesterday, I asked Anthony about the problems of guarding the different sizes and shape of people on the front line of music. He said, It's not a problem for me, it's their problem. Good pump. Oh, what the? Where's the call? That's a foul off the leg of Smith. If I see Hakeem do the same thing and y'all blow the whistle, bro, that's that's good. Getting Elijah one in the air, but Matt Bullard has been very active with his hands defensively, driving the ball to the basket, getting an offensive rebound, and making a contribution to the Rockets. Matt Bullard played a total of two minutes in the Western Conference Final throughout the five games. He's oh, shoot that! Good drop off. Oh, good strip though. Davis with a good play. Mason's jump ball. Down, and it will be a jump ball. Getting a nice round of applause from the sold out crowd here at the summit. He played very well. Robert Ory is back. He'll play with the two personal fouls. 
Carl Herrera and Hubert Davis on the jump. Kelly able to retrieve. Ori, Elijah Watt, and Herrera up front. Kelly and Cassell at the guard. Off the foot of Elijah Watt. Was now guarded by Smith. But he was Good defense by New York. Elijah Watt was fouled. It counts. Yes, and it counts. The hack called on Mason. Bucket. On the last two times that Elijah Watt was facing up Mason, Mason got the best of him during that last timeout. And the storm heard Rudy Tomjanovich say, Good string. We want to get the ball inside to Akeem against Mason, whether he fronts Good or string. Whether he plays behind. This time forced to take the fade away, but hacked on the wrist as Pat Riley giving it to the officials. Three point play for Akeem. Ten points in all. The Knicks 26, the Rockets 25. Knicks have hit only one of the last eight shots after the good shooting first quarter. Chant of defense. They doubled up on Mason. Shot clock at six. Davis had to force it. it oh, bad foul. Why would you foul him on that? And all of that precipitated by the trap that the Rockets have been using after free throws. It really looks like a 3-2 zone. They're double teaming the ball, not letting the ball handler get a good look to make an initial pass into the middle of the defense. And when they ran that defense the other night, the Knicks were 0 for 7. So I'm sure New York will see it until they solve it. Gilbert Davis making it back from a broken bone in his shooting hand, missing 25 oh, games. Jesus. Regular season average 11 per game. Average just under 24 oh, minutes per game, but much worse in a playoff shooting wise. Here in the playoffs, he has not shot well in the playoffs. Same T. Hubert only one of six from the floor Wednesday night in game one. The Knicks lead is two. The Knicks have led all the way. Cassell with that hesitation dribble appears he he has there you go Robert shoot that shoot the three Mason stopped by Elliot there you go Anthony for three Jesus New York man and back come the Rockets Elijah Watt getting position and foul from behind by did he did it was it a reach Pat Riley so mad at that last shot by Greg Anthony, he could have swung the ball over to the front of the New York bench to wide open Davis as Charles Smith trying to push Elijah Wan out of there, putting two hands right. back. Ah, oh, he put two hands. To lose the ball, but the foul goes on Charles Smith. For Smith, his second. He's played well here in this first half. Four of six, eight points for Charles Smith. Ori was isolated against Smith. Jesus Christ. And a holding foul on Anthony. Off the inbounds play, Anthony called for the hole. He got all tangled up with Sam Cassell, who made a kind of a veteran play. Good hand. Good hand. Great defense. With the rebound, Thorpe had very little room to operate. The Knicks 27 and the Rockets 25. Four and a half gone by. Second quarter. Well, things have slowed down offensively after the good start. Illegal defense called for the second time against the Rockets. And that free throw. From the field. Hubert Davis will shoot the team. Jesus Christ, man. Well, Sam Cassell is going to be the guilty one as he gets down. No disrespect to Houston, bro, but Chicago would have beat y'all. I'm telling <laughs> Y'all lucky Mike left, dog, because that Chicago team, would, if it was the same team they had in 93, they would have won again. They would have won this finals. I'm just saying that straight. They would have won this finals, dog. Down below the line there for more than 
And when he makes that move, he has to go trap hard. Anthony. There we go, Anthony Greg Anthony. Anthony. Corner jump for his first field goal. The Knicks lead 29 to 25. The Knicks try to tie the series at one. Houston looking to go up 2-0. Come on, on the team. Good block. Good block. There you go. Money. Backed up by Ori. Oh, no whistle. Come on, Patrick. There you go, Patrick. Next 31 and the Rockets 27. Patrick Ewing, three of nine for six points. And because the Knicks are getting good shots, they're getting good offensive rebound opportunities. That head fake by Elijah Wan. Right, defense. See this on a number of occasions where a player is not that well known, although Ori played in Alabama, but he was more of a role. There we go, Kenny. Uh, the fans are, are looking at the uh, Street Smiths College Guide and perhaps have not seen much of a particular player on television. So he was not well received, but uh, he has certainly been well received these days, although the Rockets did attempt to trade him earlier this Come season. Come on. Kelly for three. And Ewing with the rebound with just under six minutes remaining in the first half. Rockets say it's the best trade they ever made. Robert Ory remaining a member of the Rockets. Shot clock at six. Ewing. Wild shot. But it's an offensive. They use that off arm. As yeah. Ewing wheels into the lane a little bit off balance against the pressure defense of Olajuwon, going to wipe out with the off arm. Yeah. Very easy to see, and really no complaint by Patrick Ewing. Ewing with his second. Olajuwon does not have any fouls. Rockets back to the backcourt of Smith and Maxwell. Olajuwon, Thorpe, and Ori are up front. And again, it's Mason guarding Olajuwon. Mason try to force him out along the baseline. Isolated now. The shot clock is down to one. Here's Smith for three. It just did raise the rim. Fourth stop. Carl Smith has done an excellent job defensively. Here's Smith again for three. And Mason rebound. Five minutes to go in the first half. Knicks lead by four. Anthony lost it. Dribbling through the crowd. Kenny Smith only one for six on the field. Looking around, he thought the Rockets uh, might want to call a timeout. Well, the Knicks are concerned about leaving Kenny Smith open when there are double teams on Elijah one from beyond the three-point line. Maxwell for three. Thank you. Thank you, Vernon Jesus, man. Seven points for Maxwell, who is hoping to turn it from the four of 16 the other night. And the Knicks lead is down to one. Here's Ewing. Ewing on the rebound. Foul. Pushed by Elijah Wan. I mentioned that the Knicks concerned about Kenny Smith from beyond the three-point arc. Also, despite the fact that Maxwell has not shot well in the last 13 playoff games, this time he gets a wide open look, and it's been a long time coming for Vernon Maxwell. Charles Oakley replacing Charles Smith, who had a strong first half. Patrick Ewing on the line for the first time. And another reason for fronting in the low post, we're talking about getting in front of Elijah one. It enables you to keep pressure on the basketball and stay up on the shooter because you have to pressure those passes. And that's why the Knicks have tried to do it. They started out early in the ball game doing it, then have gotten away with it. And that last possession before the Maxwell three, uh, Mason got around on Elijah one and almost forced that 24 second violation. On Elijah on his first. And the Knicks lead by three. The Rockets have played 10 home playoff games. That includes game one here on Wednesday. They've yet to be behind after the first half in any of the games. Down here by three. Ori. Good attack. 
Good hands. Well, Charles Oakley came roaring out on Robert Ory, not taking into account for his quick first step and speed. Ory blew by, but Oakley, very fortunate, to be able to slap that ball from behind. Down to 10 on the 24. Smith met on the switch. And Harper has a mismatch against Thorpe. Smith got it to him. Ah, didn't get it off. Oh, I don't know about that. Good look from Kenny Smith. Next lead by one. And again, the crowd comes to life. Ewing. Patrick Ewing not taking good shots. He's 3 4 11. No. Well. That was a three-point attempt again. Well, Max, a streaky shooter, hit his last one. Couldn't wait to get the ball in his hands to let one fly. Pat Riley, that one. Having three at Madison Square Garden. In the second half of game one. Houston nine to play. The Knicks with nine. Jesus. In the second quarter as we come up on three minutes to go. This after a, a good first quarter by New York. Starks is back. He and Hopper at the guards. Ewing, Mason Oakley up front. Ewing had it knocked away. Try to out of bounds. It will be Houston ball. Well, the Knicks came out very strong with their defense, which is what they wanted to do. Their half-court execution was good, getting good shots, and they have definitely gotten away with it, or I should say gotten away from it here in this second quarter. Now everybody putting the ball on the floor, rushing things and not getting that execution and they look tired right now and Pat Riley has made the normal substitution pattern so we're going to see some quarters like this throughout this series. Nick lead is one. Houston has never left. Mason able to swat it away. Shot clock at five. Nijewan with the turnaround. Fourth on the rebound. There you go. There you go. Thank you, my guy. Thank you, Robert. The Rockets have the lead. They are up by two. Mason. Swing it. Getting it back out. Yes. There you go. The game is tied. Now you're playing. Here we go, Hakeem. Same move. Bam. Anything you can do, I can do better. Oh, nice shot, Mason. To tie the game at 37. And all game long, Pat Riley has been after John Starks to drive the ball to the basket. See if you can get something for yourself. If they have picked up, kick it out to an open shooter. Elijah Watt changed his the defense. By Smith at 12 to 3. Now, okay, Houston, he knows. Houston, he knows. A 40, 37 lead. Second three point bomb for Mad Max. Herb Williams getting set to come on for Patrick Ewing. Here's Charles Oakley way off. Maxwell brings it back with a minute to go on the half. Oh my God. Ori and Maxwell upset with himself. And rightly so. What I think Maxwell was thinking when he was coming down on that fast break, I think he was going to raise up and shoot a three. He wants to let them go right now. And then he changed his mind and he's probably kicking himself for not taking the three. Instead, he turned it over. It is only the sixth turnover committed by Houston. New York with seven. Yes. There you go. Derek Harper hits the here we go. And the offense has accelerated here in the final minutes. Yes. Thank God. Is there every time there's a double team down inside? Two passes, you get an open shot. Ori for three. Eric oh my Jesus. Out of 25 seconds remaining in the half. Oakley with the fake. Charles Oakley with a nice move. Great finish, Charles. 
just find that thing. And one very big one who normally blocks that shot, and Charles thought he got fouled on the play. He ought to be surprised he got it over the outstretched arm of Akeem Olajuwon. It's by two, ten seconds left in the half. God dang. Coming up on fourth, out of five seconds. Olajuwon. Easy. Beautiful ball movement. Travel. Good finish for the first half. Yeah, I, I'm just convinced that Chicago would have beat both of these teams. Because, I mean, you really just would have trapped Hakeem. And I don't think the other guys are deadly enough to beat you. They finally started showing me something in the final minutes of that second quarter. We finally started seeing some basketball. But for most of that quarter, it's just like, Jesus, dog. Like. <laughs> come on, somebody, come on, please. For the and then Houston started heating up from the three, and then New York started knocking shots down. So we got some basketball at the end of the quarter. Um, that's all we have, though. Make sure you guys subscribe, ring notification bell, and if you enjoyed that reaction, make sure you check out this one. It's your boy Daniel. Out.